Isoroku Yamamoto was the Japanese admiral who masterminded the attack on Pearl Harbor December 7, 1941, which forced the United States into World War II. Shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Japanese held the Solomon Island chain, which is this chain of islands. This is Australia right here. This is Papua New Guinea. The Solomon Island chain is this chain of islands right through here. On August 7, 1942, American forces landed on the island of Guadalcanal, which is this island right here. And they landed all along this beach right in here, because at that time, there was a Japanese airfield, and you can see it here. This is the older airfield. This one here is a new field, more modern. This one was not there at the time. The American forces invaded this island. It was this one here, and it was pretty much a dirt strip at that time. Now, like I said, they landed on August 7th, 1942, and they fought the Japanese forces on this entire island here for six months and two days before the Japanese surrendered the island on February 9th, 1943. While the United States forces were occupying the island, on April 14, 1943, U.S. intelligence intercepted and decrypted a message giving the details of Yamamoto's visit to the Solomon Islands. As a result of this, the United States knew his arrival and departure times and the locations that he was headed. Three days later, on April 17, orders were given to shoot him down after he began his visit of the Solomon Islands. On April 18, 1943, Yamamoto took off from Rabal, which is right here. And at that time, I believe this is the location that they used for a military airport right in here. You can kind of see what looks like the remains of an old, potentially World War II runway right in here or possibly down in here but in this general area right here i'm pretty certain this is where the exact place that he took off from the purpose of his mission was to check out his military to see what kind of shape they were in after surrendering guadalcanal and also to boost morale of the troops when he took off on april 18th the morning of april 18th his destination was down here I believe it's pronounced Balale Airfield, right here. He was going to land here, check out the naval forces, and boost the morale of his military personnel, who whose morale was at a low point because of their surrender of Guadalcanal. He never made it to this destination because back on Guadalcanal down here, from Henderson Field, which would have been here, right in here. 18 P-38 Lightnings, planes just like this here, were assigned to the mission of shooting him down. They took off from Henderson Field on the morning of April 18th. There were 18 of them. One of them had to abort on takeoff, and a second one had to abort and come back after its drop tanks would not feed fuel to the engines. So they took off from here at Henderson Field and began heading. They were heading kind of south and west in this direction out over the water. And they were about, it is said that they were roughly about 50 feet above the water in order to avoid any radar. This was about a 600 mile route. And when they got out over the ocean, they started heading north and came out just south of Bougainville Island. That's when they saw Yamamoto's airplanes and they started to climb to 10,000 feet and they engaged them. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about the fight and how it happened. You can look that up yourself. But there were two Betty Bombers and six escort fighter planes that went with them. Each Betty Bomber had three fighters protecting them. The P-38s moved in and started attacking the two Betty Bombers. The first one that went down landed right here in this location and the second one that went down actually kind of crash landed into the water 
At the time, they didn't know who was who, but later on they would find out that the exact crash location where Yamamoto's plane went down was right here. This is supposed to be the exact spot right here. This is the location. And you can't see anything from Google Earth, or you can't see any plane wreckage here from Google Earth, but they say the wreckage is sitting right here. Here's a photo in that location of the actual airplane that Yamamoto was on when he was shot down and killed. They said that his body was still strapped into his seat and he had been ejected from the wreckage and he was kind of sitting upright with his head slumped forward. There was a bullet hole in his back left shoulder and another bullet hole that hit him in the lower left jaw and exited above his right eye. The medical examiner who examined him said it was the bullet wound to his jaw and exiting his head that killed him. It was not the plane crash that killed him. So Yamamoto was killed when the P-38 fired shots into the fuselage, not when the plane hit the ground. And if you go on the internet, you'll see different photos of the plane wreck, like this one here. Or this one. And it appears this one here still shows bullet holes of where the P-38's bullets entered the plane. Right here, this is a potential bullet hole. These are possible bullet holes. Not certain. It's been many years since then. This could be anything, but it would not surprise me if these were some of the bullet holes that went into the airplane and shot him down. And there you have it, the shoot down of Japanese Admiral Yamamoto right here on Google Earth.